Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin, this is Horsepower Obsessed, and today I'm going over a list of five things I dislike about my 2015 Corvette Z06. I know a lot of you guys have already seen videos like this that say five things I hate about my car. Um, right off the bat, I wouldn't go as far to say that any of these things on this list would be something I hate. I'm gonna say dislike, something I would have changed if I was the manufacturer maybe, but ultimately it's just gonna be a small list of things that really don't change the way I feel about the car overall anyway, but just little things nitpicking here and there. Okay, so number one, it's gonna be this guy, uh, the key fob for this car. Um, it, again, th these are all very nitpicking details, but this thing just, does not match the styling or the class of this car. So basically this feet key fob here I know is the same one that they used in the C6 and also a few Cadillacs. I know right off the bat the SRX had the same key fob, obviously with a different logo back here, but not that the key fob doesn't work well, because it, it does work from a, a good distance away and everything seems to, you know, when you press a button it works, but it just it just looks odd. I mean, to match that car, it, it should be smaller, sleeker, eh, maybe red. I mean, that, you can never go wrong with that. But uh, this would be number one on the list. Like I said, not a huge thing, but definitely makes the list because it is just, it's almost ugly. Okay, so number two is going to be the Z07 package. As much as the Z07 package is exactly what I wanted on this car, the one place it really falls flat for me is the ability to lower it. Uh, the Z06 in general, you go in, you you turn the uh, the little pad adjusters on the on the leaf spring, and the car lowers. Like the Z06s, the base model ones, I should say, you know, not the Z07 package. Uh, it when it goes when you lower it down, it literally slams the car front and back. Whereas with, with mine, the Z07 package, I have this one all the way down in the front, and then in the rear, I have it also all the way down, and I had to cut one rib off of the bushing between the, the control arm and the uh, leaf spring. So that is with one bushing cut. If I wanted to go any lower than that, I would either need to get lowering bolts or cut more of the pad off, which at that point, if it affects ride, I'm kind of you know, screwed on that one because it can't go back after you cut that stuff off. But ultimately, I wish I could lower the car a little bit more without severely affecting the ride quality. I had looked into the uh, the LG drop spindles, uh, but those by themselves are going to cost somewhere around four to five thousand dollars. Then to get them installed and everything, the car re. Uh, aligned, balanced, you know, all that stuff. Eh, I don't know if it's worth it because, I mean, honestly, the front looks pretty good to me. The back, I'd only drop maybe another inch if I could, but is it worth four or five grand? Probably not. Okay, number three is going to be the wide body of the Z06. Uh, this, I know, has been touched on in other videos, but this is just one I can't look past. I actually have the Z07 package on the car, which typically comes with uh, Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires, which are even stickier than the ones I have now. And ones I actually put on this were the Michelin Pilot Sport or Pilot Super Sports. Um, they're not as sticky, but they still pick up absolutely everything and just sling it to the back of the car. I put the ACS extended mud guards on here that they actually stick out here and drop down about an half an inch or so below the side skirt to protect that from getting beat up too and even with these it, there's still marks all over the the rear right here from rocks that have just been flung up now it isn't crazy bad so it's not something that i want to go out and slap clear bra on it tomorrow but uh it is there now again i wouldn't change the wide body we're in because honestly the way that the the extra i think it's three inches that the car is wider in the rear than the stingray the way it sticks out it makes the car look a hundred times better than a stingray in my opinion so i would not change that but it is an issue that i wish something could be done with up here to stop those rocks from hitting right there okay number five lastly 
auto cinching. Since this car is a 2015, I did not get the auto cinching feature that they brought back in 2016. So when you pop that hatch and you go to close it, if your windows are not down or those doors are not open, it is almost impossible to get that thing to close. And I'm talking, you slam it with the, the force of a thousand Thors, it's not gonna close. So typically I walk around, I pop open the door, it closes fine by just barely gently closing it. So not that it's a huge thing, but auto cinching would have been kind of cool in the 2015s as well. Here's what I mean with the auto cinching feature of the car, well, the feature this car doesn't have. Uh, the doors are closed, the windows are up, and if I go to close this, didn't close. Still didn't close. Now, if I put a lot of force into this, it does close, but it just, it feels wrong. It feels like I'm putting too much into it and I don't wanna break the car, you know, so to speak. All right, so that's gonna be my list. Uh, that's five things that I just dislike about the car. Like I said, it doesn't change my opinion of it at all. I mean, the car's great. I love driving it, it's a, it's a blast to drive. These are just little things that if I had the power to, I could change, or if I wanted to, really. Um, a lot of these things could have been changed from the manufacturers and, and if they had been, the car would have been just a, a tiny little bit better. But ultimately, like I said, it doesn't change my opinion of the car. I'm gonna keep driving All right, it. guys, that's gonna do it for today's upload. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Have a good one.